Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video I show you how to create the stained glass look. What you do have to do first is take an image and color it, if you want it colored, and we're going to add a whole coat of embossing powder over it. So I don't burn my fingers, I'm just going to take the image on a piece of scrap paper and then add Versamark over the entire piece. You can use any embossing ink. And then add embossing powder over it. It goes faster if you use ultra thick embossing powder. I'm using Stampin' Up's Glassy Glaze. There are, uh, you can get this thick powder in from a lot of different companies. And then just heat this up and some of the powder will fly. You can see it's um, it's not a smooth layer yet. It looks more like raindrops. Once you heat it at all, you have to act real quickly now while it's still hot. Pour some more over, and repeat repeat the process. You can also, if it's still warm, oh, let me heat it again. When it's still warm, just dip it in, tap off the excess, and heat again. You can see how it will get, it's getting smoother now. I hope you can see it. Just repeat this a couple times so you will have a thick layer and your layer is completely smooth. Probably do it one more time. can tell you have enough when your um, embossing powder is moving when it's liquid. Now you have to set it aside to dry. I already prepared another piece that is dry. Now I'm just taking it off my scrap piece. And then you carefully bend it and you can, you can hear it crack. And you just repeat this as many times as you want as until you have the look you're going for and then you add it to your card you could sponge use a sponge and sponge inside the cracks for get an even more antique look or you can use it just like this on your card add a lot of adhesive because it is a heavy piece and it's bent a little bit from the embossing and your card is done. I hope you have fun with this technique. It adds a lot to your image. See you next time.